Angie from Angie's Creative Studio. Today we are in our mixed media sign book and um, I've already wrote out you all loved. Um, but I'm going to use stamps today. And I haven't used stamps in a while, have I? So I'm going to use a, a floral stamp. And it's um, one of these ready set. I'm thinking it came from Michael's. I don't know. Maybe not. It's a Bond Studio. Free Bond Design dot com studio stamp. And um, I don't think I've ever used these. Tell you the truth. I don't even know where they came from. But anyways, we're going to use it today. And uh, I'm going to use my Stays On Ink. Because I am going to use that. Well, I'm going to actually, actually use gouache today. Um, I've got a video coming out on the gouache. And I'm just going in and stamping. And I'm using, um, I think it's um, Jet Black. Yeah, Jet Black. Um, stay zone. I'm just wanting something different in my book. Okay, that's plenty. That's probably more than plenty. That's the truth. But, anyways. I'm going to use um, an eight round, and I'm just going to use a different corner of my gouache. I'm going to start out with the orange, and I haven't really played with this, so we're going to play with this together and see how this works. All I've done is watched it. So this is the first time I've actually played with it. I just got it the other day and I'm just kind of wanting to know how it does. Curiosity kills a kitty cat, you know, they say. Use this uh, on tread for my darkness. Well, I said I was. I'm just not picking up nothing. So how's everybody's week going? And I'm sorry I ain't got videos out like I want to this week. Um, we've been on vacation. We went to the lake and uh, I, I didn't get everything done like I wanted to while we was at the lake. Or before we even left to go to the lake. Okay, let's do this at mauve or rose. Sorry. <coughs> On this one. And I'm, I'm really concentrating. 
Are y'all liking the better quality videos? I am trying. I am working on that. Um, I'm still learning the apple. That apple is gonna be the death of me. As y'all can probably tell, I do some editing on my HP and some on the apple. Now, I'm not for sure, like if it dries, if you can go back over it. I, like I said, I am wanting gouache. I mean, I'm wanting a bunch of stuff. If y'all have, if you have uh, dealings with gouache, um, let me comment in the let me comment because I'd like to know more about it um, if y'all follow somebody on YouTube that uses gouache that y'all like let me know I am using the um, the mauve now. Well, I had a mauve. <clears throat> Did y'all like the like videos? The like video. Didn't we have a beautiful scenery? We didn't want, I didn't want to come home. Well, I did in in one sense. In one sense, I didn't want to come home. Does that make sense? <clears throat> it was fixing it bad. Got to love Arkansas with them. And y'all, people would drive by. I, I can't tell you yet. People nearly broke their necks at times looking at me, talking on, talking to myself. Or, well, actually, I was talking to the camera, but that was like, this woman has lost her mind doing those videos. But it was okay. I enjoyed doing them and I'm hoping I get to do more outside videos in the next few months. That was a um, Sierra Blue, uh, blue. 
Yeah, I'm just going through here and just picking out different clones. This is a um, Prussian blue. And you can paint these any color. I mean, if you don't have paints or gouache, use watercolor, use acrylic, uh, use uh, markers, uh, crayons, colored pencils. You know, use what you got. I'm just doing a variety of different stuff because that's just me. And I just kind of want to play around with these paints. Are y'all liking these um, motivation quote in the book? Let me know. Let me know what y'all want to see. I'm using a yellow medium. And I'm sorry about coffee time with Angie this week. It's not happening. I, I videotaped that video three or four times and it just was not meant to be. I did try. I really did try, y'all. Let's go with uh, lemon yellow. And like I said, I'm just using different corns. I just want it to be cherry and bright and colorful. And there's no reason, I mean, there ain't no, I mean, I'm just painting. And playing. I'm going back. I'm going to do this red orange. This is um, Scarlet. And I, this is a Master Touch um, gouache paint. I got it on sale. It was uh, 24 tubes for $14.99. And it was like 50% off. And the brushes is the Fine Touch. The Fine Touch. Sorry. And... Um, I do like them. Well, I like 
as you all know, I like a lot of uh, Hobby Lobby stuff. Uh, I don't know, it's just my go-to store. I mean, in-store brand, I like so much. Uh, the journal I'm using today is uh, Art Street from Walmart. Uh, mixed media. I like I like it um, for the price. Um, I think they like three bucks for the eight and a half by five and a half. I think they just as good as the Canton. I mean, I've got Canton, and I can't tell the difference between these and the Canton how they perform all the weight of it now the uh, master touch uh, mixed media is heavier than um, Canton it's more like watercolor paper to me than mixed media paper let's go back in with this rose Since that seems to be my favorite color anymore. Right now. now. I'm just kind of moving the paint if you ain't noticed. Okay, I'm going in with the uh, for ample for the middle for all of the middles. Okay, I am going to take it's number 16. I'm gonna have to, these is new brushes. I got these for, just for gouache. Um, I think you can use your watercolor brushes or your um, acrylic with this. I didn't want to because I'm just me. And I'm going in with the grass green. And I am going to just do the background of these. I don't even have paint. Clean water. And just like so. Just kind of give it a, a light background. Should have done this before I painted it. Than the flowers, but oh well, life goes on.
like I said, I'm just doing this very lightly and just as fast as I can with the number 16 round. If y'all ain't figured it out, I do like my rounds. And, um, like I said, I got these from Hobby Lobby. The brushes, uh, most of my brushes comes from Hobby Lobby. I just seem to like them. They do what I need them to do. I mean, my acrylics, my, all of them is just the fine touch in, in house brand. Some people says, you know, they cheap. Yeah, they may be cheap, but if you lose them or mess them up, as bad as I am about doing stuff, uh, they fine. I mean, I've had expensive brushes before, and I just, I really can't tell the difference. And I am not sponsored by Hobby Lobby. But if Hobby Lobby wants to sponsor me, I'll be more than glad to talk to them. And as much as I use the products, you know. But, I mean, I've got other products also. I mean, it ain't that I use strictly Hobby Lobby products. I use what I like. And I always have. Since I started my channel. I actually started it when I was doing, um, I was selling uh, Stampin' Up. I think Stampin' Up's got a lot of nice, I love the ink pads, and I like them all, the two, uh, one course. I ain't looked at a catalog from Stampin' Up in over a year or two. I think they out overpriced, is my opinion. You have to sell a lot to make money, but you got to spend a lot to make money with Stampin' Up. And that was something I didn't really want. I mean, I have, I want to show people how to do it more cheaply or just, you know, different ways of, I didn't want to be just strictly Stampin' Up. Because I just, I'm not that type of gal. I like a variety of different products. I mean, there's some stuff stamping up I like. Those are some stuff that I could kill, you know, I didn't have no desire to use again. I mean... That's my opinion on it. Take it for what it's worth. I know I've got friends that only thing they use is Stampin' Up. Me? No. <laughs> Although I've got a lot of Stampin' Up stamps and I've got a lot of, you know, I think I mean, that's my opinion. And it ain't very highly. <laughs> I mean, it's my opinion and take it, take it as a, you know, don't take it as Angie says. Just take it as Angie's opinion. <laughs> 
and I'm going in where I've messed up with the green and just kind of re-highlight and stuff I'm going back to my, my 8 or 6 8 This is pretty wet, y'all. We fix and dry it. My dogs is not happy, y'all. Can y'all tell? Really screwed that one up. We'll just blend the orange in. Okay. I'm gonna dry this with the heat gun. Maybe. If I can find the cord. Well, I'll take that back. I'm gonna use the hair dry one. I do get dressed. I do get uh, do my hair and makeup out in the studio because um, that's the brightest lights in my house. Okay, I am going in with black to do the lettering, and I'm going to just do it like I do watercolor and acrylics, uh, just kind of make it a uh, ink consistent, and we'll see how this works. Um, I've never done this with the uh, gouache, so we're going to run this together. And it says, you are loved, um, you are loved, and if, if, if you feel like nobody loves you, somebody loves you. I know at times. Those times we all feel like we are not loved, and I have in the past. Um, you know, if nothing else, God loves us. I hear Tootsie and Jesse. They are glad to be home, I guess. Although that they do good in the travel trailer. Um, for dogs, they they like to bark as usual. That was the first time they was in a campground. Usually, I mean, they have been to the Woods. And they went to Joey's uncle's for two weeks. What am I saying? We took five puppies with us to Joey's uncle's to Texas last year. 
I was so attached to those puppies, it was not even funny, y'all. Because of that. Joey walked on his uncle's house, and I stayed in the travel trailer most of the time, and... just played with puppies and I crafted. I made a lot of jewelry and I did take arts and crafts with me but well, I was able to do something but it was still I did a lot of playing with puppies and the dogs Tootsie and Jesse. Y'all, I'm not staying in the lines on this. And I missed the inside of the D on N. So I'm just going to make my own. Okay, and that's all I'm doing. I hope y'all enjoyed this short video. Give us a thumbs up. We love you. And have a blessed day. Bye.